Well, Gumball is becoming a pretty nice tool in V5 as far as I'm concerned. We're going to use the start.3dm file from the level 1 training manual. In the perspective view, I've turned off shadows in the render display. Just It's a little easier to see. You're welcome to leave it on. The layers I've set up are um, object, plane, and the current layer is practice. So what we're going to do is to stack all of these things up using Gumball, do a little bit of rotating, and then some copying. I'm going to grab the cone and you'll see the Gumball manipulator. And that's present because Gumball is turned on in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. And I'm simply dragging on the arrows to move the cone to the top of the box. Notice that grid snap is also on and that allows it nice a nice easy movement to the locations where we want these things to end up. So I'm going to stack the ball on top of the cone and as I select the object the gumball appears and I simply left click hold and drag and the gumball moves the sphere to where I want it to be. I use the right and front view a lot and you'll notice that you'll see a pan occasionally which means I'm holding down the right mouse button during my transformation or my movement and as I hold the right mouse button down I move the mouse to give myself a little more real estate. In the perspective view now I'll make that a full screen view I'm going to select the cylinder and the arrows we've been simply clicking and dragging but if you click an arrow you'll see a data entry box show up and that data entry box allows me to put a number in place I'm going to do the same thing with the arcs now to rotate that a certain distance in a moment so the arrows for movement and the arcs for rotation in this case I will pick the red arc or the green arc and they will rotate the object around the same colored arrow. In this case I'm going to rotate 90 degrees around the red. And now I will move that object using the gumball widget and I'll pick on the appropriate arrow and in the perspective view you can see it's quite easy if I use my mouse again holding the right mouse button down I can orbit or rotate around my model to quite easily see the cylinder move into its correct location we're going to restrict this little tutorial to move rotate and copy the ability to scale with the gumball is another tool that we'll just leave alone for this tutorial but it's pretty impressive as well and so we'll grab these pieces here and we'll move this to the corner we'll select all of these items oh let's let's rotate this for fun also 45 degrees will do the job and now we'll move to the other corner but we'd like to move it in the form of a copy so we'll select all of those and the only change I'm going to make is as I'm moving this down by dragging the red arrow I'm going to tap the alt button notice the plus next to my cursor that means that I'm no longer moving I am copying those objects We'll put a window here. We'll tap the Alt key and move that along to the opposite corner. So we have four of these little towers, one in each corner of that small plane. I'm going to do two rotates now, 45 degrees. And as this comes to a close, you need to know that the stack done layer will show this completed. 
The other three stacked layers will show this in different stages of completion. I hope this is a good start for you as you use Gumball as part of your workflow.